I'm the fifth generation farmer on this farm. It started in 1848. Um, my great great grandpa Michael Brick came in, came over from Ireland, um, settled here on the, with the, the Homestead Act, and uh, purchased 120 acres here from the government. When my dad was 10 years old, um, my grandpa passed away. There was uh, seven siblings in the family. My, my grandma was pregnant with the youngest one at the time. The family had to make a decision. There was no, you know, no money, so they rented the farm out back in 1942. So my, my dad went and worked at my uncle's farm, and he lived there until he was 18 years old. Came back to the farm here after it was rented out. It was pretty much demolished by the, by the renter. Um, my dad decided that he, he wanted to keep one at the family farm, took it over, remodeled everything when he was 18. Started running the farm for five years and then was drafted um, into the army. And he went into service for three years and came back, added on to the barn at that time, remodeled. 1992, I graduated from high school and we were trying to figure out what we needed to expand. It was either expand or sell at the time because um, the farm wasn't big enough for both of us to handle. My dad couldn't handle it by himself. So with a lot of thought in 1996, we decided that we we're gonna build a freestyle barn and to expand this dairy and we need to get it modernized. Now today we went from 50 cows up to 750 cows. People don't realize how many great jobs there are in agriculture. When I was in school, it's like, boy, you know, if you weren't very good in school, you, you know, you worked in egg, um, and that's the furthest thing from the truth. There's so many different areas in agriculture that you can get into, other than just being a farmer. We employ 11 full-time employees here on the farm, but there's probably uh, you know, 150 to 200 other people that we, we employ indirectly. We do everything we can to make a happy cow here. Straw has a lot of bacteria when it gets wet, and it can cause, uh, you know, what we call, you know, an intermammary infection of mastitis. So when we built this new facility, we went with sand bedding. It's inorganic. It's a tough time for bacteria to grow. It's nice and soft for the cows. You know, there's no bumps or bruises on the cow, and uh, it's just like laying on a beach all day. our duty um, to, to make sure that there's people to take over. Um, you know, I want to do everything I can to secure our legacy here at Brickstead Dairy to make sure that there's, if it's not my son, that there is somebody else to take this, this farm.
farm over and continue continue farming. If, if it's not going to be farming, it's going to be homes. And once it's homes, um, you know, the legacy is done here at Brickstead Dairy. My name is Dan and I'm a Wisconsin dairy farmer.